This is very pretty. It has the cloisonne beads. And these are knotted in between. I wonder if this is real stone. It almost looks like it. Looks a little bit like, are they knotted? No, they're not knotted. Like Jasper. Does it have a clasp? Mm, no. Very pretty though. Another copperish bracelet. This one has a floral design. That's pretty. Mm. Pretty faceted glass amber colored teardrop with some little, little tiny, I can't tell if they're, uh, I think it's a, got a little bit of um, some iridescent paint on there. Very pretty chain. I guess this would be a better shot of it. A little bit like a metallic on the back to make it shine more. Pretty. Ooh, look at that. Am I too close? That's got mega dangles. Oh, it's a Sarah. I definitely don't have that one. I'll put that to the side. More of these. I remember a couple of bags back, I got a whole bunch of these. Let me find out what they're for. Oh, a red rhinestone. I need to put that to the side because, oh, I found another red rhinestone. I think it belongs to something, I think. A little play ring, I think. Let's see. Yep, 18 karat gold electroplated. Let's see, yes, fits. My new Christmas nails. Cute. This is very nice. Well done. I've seen clasp like this before with the magnet. It seems so silver, but don't see any markings. But very nicely done. And a watch by Vienna. It's got some Somewhere it's kind of not shiny anymore. Oh, these are pretty. Don't see anything on them. But this is the Damascene screw back. Very pretty. I don't find many uh, Damascene earrings. And from what I read, the Real Damascene is like this. It has the prongs. It's inset with prongs. Those are very pretty. I like those too. Ooh, so far so good. See a lot of necklaces at this one, so hopefully no tangles. There's a hair. A uh, pearl cluster, kind of like grapes. Fur clip or sweater clip. Or could it be for shoe? I thought when it has the, the kind of the pokey, maybe that's not pokey enough for um, a fur. We shall see. 
this mm, a lot of wear this might even be plastic it looks like it has some wear on the rhinestone it could be fixed painted a little bit maybe some of the classic x earring put it to the side This is a cute enamel um, candy cane. Oh, shoot. Very cute. I like that. This is neat. It has the black and it has some kind of yellowed rhinestones, crescent moons. That's cool. Has a nice safety to it. It is Sarah Cove. Wow. I have not seen this one. That's great. I'm going to put it with my Sarah Coventry. Get ready for that book video. It's a heavy watch. Oh, Anne Klein. Very heavy chain. Here's another one of those, I think. Oh, it's not magnetic. No, it just goes in here. But it's nice. I like that. Mm, a little birdie. Is his legs missing? Or is that how short they're supposed to be? That's nicely done. I can't tell if his legs are broken. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. My first curl. Mm, let's hope there's no curl in there. No. Good. Another watch by Anne Klein. Diamond. That's a very nice band. I do like that. I think that's an extender. That's a very pretty watch. I like it. Uh, I think this was an earring. I love those. The green um, Aurora Borealis. How pretty. Well, this will go with the crafts because it's definitely broken. I've had this one. I think it's actually the same size. It's big, bigger size. They probably fit together like stacking rings. I know I have one in the same color. A monogrammed stick pin. This looks like Sour Coventry. Yep. I don't have this one, but I had a feeling. A harp of some sort. Lehigh County Band Festival, February 20th, 1965, Salisbury High School. Cool. This is really lightweight. I don't know if all the gold is worn off or it's maybe silver plated and it's tarnished. I don't see any marking. Is that a tiny mark or? No, I don't think it's silver. A little enamel purse. I think it's the same maker as that other one we got that is in the same, you know, that was um, still packaged. J and Y. There's a lot of wear on that. One of these, like carved celluloid. I have had these before too, made in Taiwan. Definitely have these. A big clamper bracelet. And it's got one missing little turquoise bead. Maybe now I'll find it. 
But that's big. Very chunky and heavy. Little tie clip. I think it's... Oh. Anson and his 12 carat uh, gold filled. I don't find too many gold filled ones. Nice. Oh, look at these. It's got a bird hanging on it. Not purposely, but look at those. Wow. Those look like Santa would want to wear those. No name. I don't often find a name on the big fancy ones like that. That's really cool. And I can't get the bird off. That's okay. Nice enameling on that. Pretty. Oh, here's the other earring, the big X. This looks like lavender and clear. H K or H H? Don't know what that is. Doesn't fit me. What is this? Um, I'm guessing this is um. I was going to say uh, one of those button things, but I'm guessing because this, this moves a little bit. So I'm thinking it is the, how can I forget words that I just said a minute ago? <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, not a tie clip, you know how frustrating that is. I'll think of it. And here's the other one. They're kind of neat. I like those. Cufflinks. Yeah, definitely cufflinks. I'm not sure. I guess you put them like this when you put them in the, the sleeve. And then you open this up to stop them from falling out. They're very modern kind of looking. But yet older. Well, that's a shame. This looks like real shell. And it's all busted on one side. But if you wanted to use that for something, you certainly could. So I will put that with the craft. And this looks like it's missing the other part of the earring. I wonder if you can clean that up. That's kind of cool. I like it. Avon. It's probably, I would say, the 60s or 70s, right? Avon. Probably could clean that up. It's just probably just some, you know, dirt. I like it, though. is nice it's just twisted and then smushed and bent over I can't oh yeah I can get it open I like it it's kind of simple but cool pretty Ooh, I like this he has a big eye but I like anything with those little Turquoise beads. To me, it's just very Victorian or Edwardian. Not sure, but some more, something old back then. And the style of the bird. It's neat. I mean, I found the red rhinestones, but those are just, those are much darker and smaller. So I don't believe that it belongs to that. Porky Pig. That's cute. Warner Brothers Inc. Very cute. Hmm. I'm 
interesting. Does this say continental currency? 1776. Mind your business. Well, I think I've seen these before. Mind your business. I'll have to look that up, but I've, something s tells me I've seen this before. We are one. It's, I've got a little bit of a memory about it, but I don't really know. This is the other part of the earring. Nice tie clip from Swank. Pretty horse. These do not appear to be silver. This is, I guess, um, monogrammed. I don't know what this belonged to, if this was part of the necklace and that's all it was. This is a nice tie clip. I have some, a pin that's similar. Same thing with the knot, but it's in silver plated. I have found one of these before too, and this one's broken. Craft. Two thousand twelve. Not sure what you do with that. Another candy cane, cute. Plastic pink beads. Here is another one of these. So would this be shoe clips? They're in good condition. A bead from something, and it's a nice bead. This appears to be a sample. I don't know if it's maybe something from Avon or something that somebody had samples of. It seems like a mother's ring almost because it's got the three different stones. Possibly. Just little pendant and a cross and a little angel. Cute. Let's see, Sarah. Yes, another Sarah cover tree. Stick pin with a faux pearl. Here's that other earring. This one is not broken, but. Still has to go with the craft. Really pretty. I love those stones. Ooh, Aurora Borealis I saw. These are the nice like raspberry ones. That's pretty. Looks like they're all there. And no name. That's tiny, wow. Very pretty. And in pretty good shape. I don't see hardly any wear on there. This has a lot of wear. Little bracelet. Also a lot of wear. Some plastic raspberry pink color beads. These little faux diamond pendants, cute, and a little heart with a pearl. I've found these before. They're cute. I mean, they're vintage, and I like them. This. Are, these are plastic, and I don't know if they're supposed to look worn like that? I don't think so. 
They're very worn, like they've been tumbling around in a washer or something. Here's a little cross on a bracelet with pretty little beads, all different colors. Oh, that's pretty. I did not see anything that that belonged to. But it's a really pretty purple stone. I don't know if it's... Feels like glass. It sounds like it. But yes, this is very worn. You know, you could see how it's worn, but and they're up they're plastic. It could be oh, it's missing part of it. But it could be um Japan, but that hook part of it is missing. It could be crafted with, they're still pretty. And here's some items that I picked out separately. A lot of sterling. Oh, please, this is not a good place to be stuck. There we go. This brooch. Beautiful and big. It's vermeil. It's stamped sterling. So it's kind of a rose gold over silver with pretty red rhinestones. Let me put that separate. This bracelet is, it's not in the best shape as far as wear because it's got some vermeil over sterling and it's marked, I guess that's short for Thailand, 925. It's got the nice safety. It's also marked here. But I like the flowers. I thought it was very pretty. I do like spoon rings and the different things like that. The bracelets too. This one happens to be a twisted fork. It's like the other one with the magnet. And those magnets hurt. If you put it on your wrist and it snaps together because they're pretty strong and get your skin. Man, that hurts. Because I did it twice. But it's pretty neat. I like it. These are some... Taxico or Mexico earrings with the abalone. I do have both of them. It's just somewhere in the bag. But I like the style of it. I like screw backs. So this is another one need to separate everything so it doesn't get tangled but got these these are a little bit more tribal and they're heavy I don't know I guess that's the the eagle some kind of symbol I'm not sure it's got a few different things on here I don't want to bend it too much I'll try to open that up Made in Mexico, sterling. I like the design of these. I'm sure they look cool. I said it again. I'm sure they look really nice on the ear. These I got as sterling, but I failed to find any mark on there. But I believe they are sterling. And they're a nice hoop. This is a sterling, it's marked Italy. Very pretty. The chain is marked Italy, but I don't think the pendant was. So it probably doesn't go together. 
Yeah, because this is 925 China. I thought it was pretty for like an everyday kind of bracelet, a necklace. This little sterling chain. I can always use the sterling chains. I'm not crazy about this one, it's like the tinsel one, but it's good for a delicate kind of pendant. This look like looks like chalcedony to me. Uh, this is more china also. That's pretty. It's not too blue. It's more like a green, green chalcedony. What else do we have? This I really like. This is um, sterling. Italy. I love the design of it. I love how it lays on the wrist. It's very, very smooth and comfortable and... Really pretty. I really like that one. And I have a lot, but I'm going to have to save it for the next video. This, not sure what the stones are. A little bit crackly. Also could just be like an agate or... Um, I mean, it's not Laramar. Or it could be. I'd have to do more investigating, but it is sterling. It's marked there. This has a amethyst and it's a toggle. Very pretty. Makes me think of something for the summer. I don't know why. Maybe it's the blue. But I'm going to leave it here and thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video and the rest of uh, my silver and some more bags and I'm excited to open them and go through them and hope you enjoyed it and have a great night. Thanks. Bye.